All right, so this is Movi Pro Blackjack update tutorial on 360 degree roll. Um, there's a lot to talk through in 360 degree roll, so I'm gonna try and move fairly quickly, but I'll try and go deep on the concepts that I think are important. Uh, I wanna touch on first what's different between the old Movi firmware and now the new Movi Blackjack firmware. So we've, we've added a 360 degree roll option that now allows roll to be input with respect to the camera frame of reference versus the world frame of reference. So before, if you were to do a roll move, it would always apply to, let me, it would always apply to this axis essentially. Um, now with the 360 degree roll enabled, it always applies to the camera frame, the camera reference or the camera axis. And the best way to show that is I can point down at the table and then I can input a roll and you can see that is rolling on the camera frame of reference, not the world frame of reference. Same thing looking straight up, input a roll. Um, and why I think that's important is it opens up a variety of new operating modes that are uh, really, really exciting. So I wanna talk through on some of the hardware limitations first. So I'm gonna kill this Movi. Um, just to explain briefly, the Movi Pro has hardware limits on roll. You can see I'm hitting a stop there. And then as I go over, I'm gonna hit another stop there. And that's a mechanical hard stop. That's a limit built into the gimbal. We cannot exceed that. The Movi XL does not have those limits and you could potentially exceed it, but you have to be very careful to not break. There's wires that go through the roll motor and then there's wires that go through the tilt motor. And it'll be very important for operators to keep track of those and not break them. Um, keep track of the number of revolutions you've done and then unwind periodically to make sure you're not stressing those wires. So <clears throat> to showcase the first roll option, I wanna show just doing 100, and this is a really nice option when you're in dual op mode and you just need to do a move that's maybe 180 degrees, a little bit more, maybe 240 degrees. But if you can keep the gimbal relatively level, you can transition and you can do a roll. Um, relatively easily. And one thing you can do to make it even easier is, well, I don't wanna get into that just yet, but um, I do wanna describe, if you see this, you, you see this disturbance that happens on the pan axis, see how it's kind of moving as we're trying to roll? I wanna to explain to people why that's happening so that you know how to combat it. So I'm gonna kill the gimbal there. And you, let me just try and explain. So. You can see here, we can correct in all three axes. The camera can, can correct in pitch, it can correct in roll, and the gimbal can correct in yaw. As we roll and we approach this 90 degree point, we get into a pose where we have gimbal lock or sometimes called a singularity. So you can see now, we have no ability to correct in this axis. So anything that I do in this axis is gonna show in the camera one for one. So it's really important that at that precise moment where we roll through the singularity or gimbal lock, I keep things as smooth and as stable as possible if you're gonna try and use this shooting mode. And this will, you'll, you'll notice this most when you're at 90 degrees and you'll notice some pan movement because it's trying its best to use the uh, axes that it has available to correct, but it's getting into a position where it can no longer correct. And you'll see this is not an issue when you're doing Majestic because the, the frame, the gimbal, is following the camera around, you've got no such gimbal lock. You still have three degrees of freedom wherever you go in Majestic, in 3D Majestic. And so that's, that is why when you're doing this type of shot, it's best to choose, if you just wanna do a 180 degree shot, I would suggest that you choose tilt snap and what that does is it keeps, it keeps tilt snap to level. And then we can do, we can do moves where hopefully we get very little, and I wasn't quite level there, but hopefully we get very little pan interaction. And you can see as I tip the gimbal back and forth, 
we'll get more or less, like you saw a big swing there, that's because I didn't have the gimbal level at all. But you can see it, the closer I get to keeping it perfectly level, the smoother a transit, like we got a really, really smooth one there, it didn't move at all. Yeah. So the reason why is as it's going through the singularity, there, it doesn't have to make any corrections because it's perfectly level. Um, so I think next we should talk through the different, well, actually, let's talk about how to turn this on. In the app or in Mobi controller, there is a feature called 360 degree roll, and you'll need to enable that to get to any of this functionality. If you don't do that, you'll have the old roll limits applied, and you won't be able to access any of this 360 degree roll. Um, let's talk about 3D Majestic first, and then we'll talk about snapping. So 3D Majestic, this is basically just like you're flying a camera through space. So for this particular setup, I've got things relatively um, narrow windows. I'm going to tighten up the tilt window a little bit just so it follows a little bit better. But when you are operating in 3D Majestic and you're going to be doing really, really crazy shots, I do recommend as narrow a window as you can get away with and then feel free to adjust the smoothing as needed. And the reason for that is, let's say I'm going to do a shot where I'm going to follow Hugh. At some point in the shot, I'm going to roll 90 degrees and then I know I'm going to need to follow him around a corner. Now I'm framing on the narrow axis of the image. And so Majestic just got much more difficult to operate in this axis. So it's really critical to have a narrow window in order to give the operator the ability to really accurately point the camera. So 3D Majestic, just imagine that the camera is in space. You can do anything with it. Um, you can get upside down. Majestic will still behave exactly as you think it should. You can go shoot portrait style. Majestic still behaves exactly as you think it should. You basically have a, a flying camera in 3D space and the ability to smoothly point it in any direction that you want. Um, next thing I want to talk about is we have different modes for tilt and roll. Uh, the key ones are snap and free. And what snap does, snap will automatically snap the axis to the closest 90 degree increment. And one important thing to talk about on this is your majestic window and smoothing parameters apply to the snap. So to explain why that's important, let's say, let's do a demonstration. So let's say that um, we want to do a shot where we do an axial roll down a hallway. So I'm going to turn tilt snap on. That's going to keep tilt perfectly level. I'm going to set roll to free because I want perfect control of roll via the Mobi controller. And so even if I mess up and tip this thing back and forth, you can see tilt is going to correct to keep it perfectly level as well as it can. And that's going to allow me to execute as close to a perfect axial roll down the hallway as the Mobi is capable of. Another, I'll demo another explanation of snap. Let's say I'm going to put roll on snap. Let's say that I want to do a shot where I'm starting off the shot following Hugh in normal operating mode. I'm going to come down a corner and I'm going to turn 90 degrees. And as we go down the hall, I want to transition to vertical shooting. You can see as I start to roll, it's going to roll. And when I get to the tipping point, it's going to snap to 90 degrees. And as I said, the majestic settings are going to impact. So you can see how it snapped pretty aggressively and had a very narrow window. Let's take the roll smoothing uh, way up and then we'll see how the snap looks with, some, with a much higher smoothing. So I'm same shot following Hugh and I'm going to do a roll. Yeah, so you can see it snaps much smoother then. And then I can also vary the roll window if I want to so that it ignores some of the roll commands. Like let's say I wanted the ability to do a shot where roll was going to stay level until such time that I need to switch to vertical shooting. So I can do that and then it's going to ignore all these roll movements and keep portrait style shooting as the new level. So I think the important takeaway is you need to understand there's two key modes for each axis. There's free and there's snap. Free gives you direct control over that axis and snap tries to snap it to the nearest 90 degree plane. 
So one, one interesting use case, um, you know, shooting down a hall that's really nice, turn, tilt, snap on, it takes care of tilt for you and you just have to do the roll input. Vertical video is another great one. Uh, if, you wanna sh if you wanna shoot vertical video, turn roll snap on. You can adjust your window so that you do have some wiggle room so you're not constantly inputting roll commands, but then you will have the ability to transition from vertical video to landscape video. Um, one thing that I haven't talked about with, uh, with Mimic and 360 roll enabled, you'll be able to operate in exactly the same way as 3D Majestic. So the second operator can do all these crazy camera moves, get the camera all tangled up in any orientation, but just using Mimic. So that's cool. It allows you to have all the benefits of 3D Majestic, but with a remote operator, which sometime, sometimes can be really, really useful. Um, uh, gamepad. You can set up gamepad so that roll is commanded on the rockers on the PS4. This is also a really nice way to operate roll. Those, the pressure sensitive triggers on the gamepad feel really, really good. And you can do a nice, you know, in much the same way as the Mobi controller, you can do a really nice roll command. So you can see there, I wasn't level at all. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It was because I didn't have tilt snap on. So let me, that's a great thing to explain a little bit more. So as, as you try, as I try to do a roll with the camera in that axis, the Movi is unable to correct for that as we get to this pose. And you can see it trying to swing the pan around to help. So if you're gonna do shots where you don't have full 3D control of the Movi, it's important that you turn tilt snap on. You can see now that we're snapping, now we'll be able to execute the roll. So that's an important thing for people to understand. I, I fear that people are going to get uh, frustrated and confused when they're trying to do 180 degree rolls, not quite understanding that, you know, because of the fact that the Movi only has three axes to manipulate, when it gets to 90 degrees, it loses one of those and it does its best, but it can't fully articulate in that pose like something like the Oculus head could with, with four axes. Um, and I think... Uh, I think really that covers the majority of the use cases. We've got an offset feature that's so complicated that I don't even know how to explain it. So I think I'll skip that one for now and we'll go in deeper on a, on a future one. And if you notice I'm wearing a different outfit today, it's because we accidentally deleted this whole tutorial the first time that we shot it. So thumbs up to the FreeFly crew. I think that gives you a good explanation as to how to use um, 360 degree roll on the new Mobi Blackjack firmware. We're going to be hosting six weeks of Facebook Live uh, surrounding Mobi Blackjack release. So if you have questions or not quite understanding how to use this effectively, be sure and hit us up on there and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks.